The Air Change Group would like to present Hybrid Chilled Water and DX Cooling Systems, Part 2 Improving Chiller Operating Efficiency Air Change Precise Control Units can incorporate chilled water coils alongside DX refrigeration to form a hybrid cooling system. In Part 1 of Hybrid Chilled Water and DX Cooling Systems, we covered the basic operating principle of hybrid PCUs and how they ensure sufficient dehumidification is achieved when the available chilled water temperature is not low enough to achieve it on its own. We also covered how they keep an indoor space at a comfortable temperature when a chilled water system is required to overcool supply air for dehumidification purposes. If you have not seen the part one video, make sure you check it out. In this video, part two of hybrid chilled water and DX cooling systems, we will cover how hybrid PCUs can save energy by improving the efficiency of chillers, particularly those that are operating in humid climates. So to start with, let's go over some basics of chilled water cooling systems. Chillers typically supply water at a fixed temperature of around 6 degrees Celsius. This allows air handling units and fan call units to supply air down to approximately 12 degrees Celsius. A supply air temperature this low is generally not needed from units addressing a room sensible load and so the chilled water coils and water flow rates of these can be designed to achieve a higher supply air temperature. However, a supply air temperature of around 12 degrees Celsius is typically required from units treating outside air as this allows for adequate dehumidification. Failing to dehumidify fresh ventilation air to the required dew point temperature will cause mould growth, occupant discomfort and other issues, especially if the building is located in a humid climate. But here's the dilemma. Being able to dehumidify the outside air adequately to around 12 degrees dew point comes at the cost of chiller efficiency, as chiller efficiency is higher with raised water supply temperatures. And because the conditioning of outside air typically accounts for only a small proportion of the overall cooling load, it is wasteful to have low chilled water temperatures of around 6 degrees Celsius just for this purpose. This is where the hybrid precise control unit can help. If a hybrid PCU is used for the outside air processing, an elevated chilled water temperature can be supplied to all units and subsequently increase chiller operating efficiency without compromising the dehumidification of the outside air. This is because the integrated evaporator coil of the hybrid PCU continues to cool the outside air to the required dew point temperature after the chilled water coil to ensure proper dehumidification. To demonstrate the potential energy savings, let's consider two hypothetical scenarios. In the first, we have a chiller that supplies 6 degree water to a standard unit conditioning 500 litres a second of outside air, as well as units addressing the room sensible loads. The chiller in this case provides the entire cooling capacity of 100 kilowatts, and the 6 degree water allows the outside air processing unit to cool to 12 degrees dew point and dehumidify adequately. For the units addressing the room sensible load, the chilled water flow rate is throttled to achieve a supply air temperature of 16 degrees Celsius, which is all that is needed to keep the indoor space cool. Now, if we refer to this performance table for a chiller compressor, a typical condensing temperature of 40 degrees Celsius and an evaporating temperature of 0 degrees Celsius results in a coefficient of performance, or COP, of 3.96. This means that the electrical power consumption of the chiller, excluding any fan or pump power, would be the chiller cooling load of 100 kilowatts divided by 3.96, which gives 25.3 kilowatts. In the second scenario, we have the same chiller and cooling load, but with an elevated chilled water supply temperature of 11 degrees Celsius and a hybrid PCU managing the outside air conditioning. Using this elevated chilled water temperature, the chilled water coil in the hybrid PCU cools the 500 litres a second of outside air to 16 degrees dew point and the integrated DX system then provides 5 kilowatts to cool it further to the required dew point temperature of 12 degrees Celsius. Because the DX refrigeration system of the hybrid PCU is providing 5 kilowatts of cooling, the chiller now only needs to provide 95 for an overall cooling load of 100 kilowatts. As per the first scenario, the units addressing the room sensible load continue to supply air at 16 degrees Celsius, but with a higher chilled water flow rate because of the elevated chilled water temperature. But the main point to make in this scenario is, the evaporating temperature of the chiller's refrigeration system is increased to around 5 degrees Celsius, because the chilled water does not need to be cooled as low. And if we refer back to the chiller compressor table from before, this raises the COP from 3.96 to 4.8. So, 
This means the power consumption of the chiller in scenario 2, minus any fan or pump power, would be the chiller cooling load of 95 kilowatts divided by 4.8, which is equal to 19.8 kilowatts. But to make a fair comparison to the first scenario, we must of course consider the power consumption of the PCU's DX refrigeration system. It would be reasonable to assume the COP of the PCU's DX refrigeration system will be around 3, as per a typical air conditioner running at nominal condition. This would mean that the power consumption of the PCU, minus any fan power, would be the cooling load of 5 kilowatts divided by 3, which is equal to 1.7 kilowatts. If we add this to the chiller power consumption, the total for 100 kilowatts of cooling comes to 21.5 kilowatts. Compared to the power consumption of 25.3 kilowatts in the first scenario, this is a 15% saving. And this is all achieved while still maintaining the necessary level of dehumidification for the outside air. So if you were looking for reliable HVAC solutions that lower the energy consumption of buildings located in humid climates, speak to one of our sales engineers. And make sure you check out our website at airchange.com.au.